So you've been given an assignment to research a controversial issue, but you might not have identified your issue yet. So I'm going to show you two resources we have here at the library that you can use to identify an issue for your research. The first thing I'm going to click on is this link that says browse issues and opposing viewpoints. And if you're doing this from off campus, at this point you'll be asked to log in and you should use the same username and password you use for Canvas or MyCerritos. What we're looking at right here is an alphabetical list of issues. And these are all of the issues that there's information about in this database opposing viewpoints. And you can kind of scroll down and you might see something that interests you. Um, I see one that interests me, this one, facial recognition technology. And when I click it, it's taking me to the information in the database on this topic or this issue. You might not like how that um, database is organized, so we have another option for you, InfoBase, and I'm going to click on the link for InfoBase Topics. And part of it looks like the other database, there is an alphabetical list of issues, but this database also allows you to filter by topic, so maybe you don't know what issue you want to research and you're not sure which issues are related to something that you're interested in but you could narrow it down. So if I know that I'm interested in the environment, here's a topic, energy and the environment, I can click that and then I'll see all the different potential issues I might want to research. So um, I might really care about deep water oil drilling and I don't know if, if we should allow it or not, for example. Just like the other database, what's great about this is when you click on the issue, it takes you to all of the information inside the database on it. And you can go, you can start your search from there. We'll explore these two databases a little bit more in the next video.